So, Chris, what's your connection with Philip Larkin? I moved to Beverly in 2019 and was blissfully unaware, really, of Larkin's connection with the town. And in fact, Larkin's connection with my old city, Leicester. Um, I've been a writer for a long time and I entered a poem in uh, to a poetry competition which won the Larkin Prize. That basically sparked my interest in Larkin and his involvement or immersion into the East Riding and Hull area. So yeah, that's yeah. what's brought me here today. Well, it was the East Riding Poetry Festival, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. And it was sponsored, the first prize was sponsored by the Larkin Society. That's so right. yeah. um, it had been a fallow period for me until then. And so winning that really sort of spurred me on. And so since then, I've, I've become a little bit more interested in Larkin, yeah. obviously. Um, but, you know, attending the events for the centenary last year, um, I got to think about Larkin's connections with Beverly yeah. and wanted to sort of write about that, hence the poem I'm going to read today. Today I cycled to Beverly. I'm here, hand on hotel wall, a future space for a modest memorial. Across the road, Alice laughs, hidden somewhere in the walls of St Mary's Church, sullen behind rabbits, dearest bun. And who would think, would you, that I would stand in this spot, our future spot, contemplating afternoon tea, bicycle clips stowed in my jacket pocket. I'd like to offer you a cup, see if the saucer would remain dry, or if the droplets of the brew would puddle in its indent. After, we can walk through Saturday Market, find a bookshop, what hope. Maybe take photographs in front of the Minster, or pedal out to the Holderness Plain to become something else, to slip off our coats and inhale the wide open sky.